beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the ways I can help you plan your way to calm. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you something that I have been slowly enjoying and loving. It's kind of new to me because this is a new well, rediscovered planner, <laughs> I should say, and that is the Happy Planner Guided Happy Journal. And what I tell you folks, if you want just a simple way to capture your thoughts and feelings and to get you in a state of calm, then this is the book for you. So I'm going to take you through and I'm going to show you how I use this book to help chronicle my moods and my emotions as I journey through this uh, stage of anxiety that I'm in. I just, I kept this on so you can see the, the tag of it here and I'm gonna put that aside, but it says just a simple, just a simple disc system that Happy Planner is known for, the changeable sheets and it says, hello, happy on it. And I just put, use the label maker and put my uh, channel name here, which is Planning Calm. And let's look inside and see how I've organized it. So first and foremost, you may be like, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> well, what I've done here is I have decided to use this as more of a seasonal planner. I have, there's four tabs here and I have labeled the tabs by the season. So I'm using this book starting at the beginning of spring. So I labeled spring. The next season is summer and then fall and then winter. See? This is the first page and the design of this book is it's really straightforward, easy to read, easy to navigate and just easy all the way around. So I like to decorate my planners just to give it a little bit more personality. So I've used some washi tape here and I've also used one of the colored boxes from the Happy Planner and I just use um, or I just label rather the week that I'm using the planner. So they have a lot of things that you can keep track of. So this week I focused on three power words, which was hope, faith, and grace, and my goals for the month and uh, some habits that I wanted to monitor and also what I'm gonna be reading and then ways for self-care. Now, I am a Christian, so the context with which I work within is a Christian context. And so you're, if you're not a Christian or if you're another, another religion, you can opt to use this planner for those needs. And it's just great because it's so universal. You can kind of change it up and make it your own however you want. So, um, you know, for me, I am, in therapy right now for my anxiety. And so there's a number of things my therapist likes me to work on in regards to my therapy. And so uh, certain things like reducing negative thoughts and um, you know moving and praying every day and um, breathing techniques and positive self-talk, those are all parts of my therapy to help me with my anxiety. So I like to incorporate those things within this planner as well. And it's been working out fabulously. And so, then for this page here is just some priorities that you want to engage in the week. Now, you'll notice that throughout the book, some weeks are going to be a lot longer than others, and that's okay. You can kind of customize it, write what you want for depending on the week. So this is a new week. So this is from March 26th to April 1st. And in this week, my priorities are different because it's a new week. And so each week I tend to focus on different things, pretty much with the same running things of you know, working on my anxiety, all that kind of stuff. But uh, my goals for the week are, will always change or the priorities will always change. So this week, <clears throat> I was looking at um, just as we get closer to Easter, observing Easter and the meaning of Easter and uh, moving more, getting outside. <laughs> because I work from home, I tend to stay inside a lot and it's actually not so good for my mental health because I love being outside, fresh air, the breeze, the sunshine, all that stuff. But sometimes I feel like I'm stuck because between my job, school, and YouTube, <laughs> I feel like I'm inside all the time and it's just not healthy. So I like to make a note of getting outside and of course, healthful eating. So making sure I'm getting my greens, my veggies, and my fruit and water in there. And, and uh, tell me what you're drinking, folks. I have um, some Manuka honey, and it's a Puka Manuka honey and chamomile uh, vanilla, and it's just to die for. It's so good. Mmm, tasty. But tell me what you're drinking in the comments. I'd love to know. Alrighty, so as we move on, 
This book also is designed for you to capture things on the daily as well. So if you look here for this week, I have each of the days kind of marked out and I've used uh, my sticker books to help me I'm just kind of jizz up things a little bit. Also, with I added a little color with my Tombows and I actually wrote in this with my, my Tombow uh, N15 and I love it. It's nice and bright and just great to see. But um, I captured the moods of the day. Some days are good days, some days not so good days just really depends on where I'm at with the anxiety thing and that's okay uh, I have a spot for positive affirmations uh, always keeping God in mind and also my expiring things things I'm going to aspire to today you'll see a theme here of moving more praying more growing more and it just keeps me on track of what I want to do so that was March 26th and then when we go to March 27th you'll see that again the goals have changed my mood is different I'm a little bit happier today and I can as you can see better than yesterday and just a couple notes that I make here and a note to myself and then my gratitude and here so happy for my YouTube family and the community that we have here it's been just such a blessing to connect with all of you it's just it's good things it's good things and you guys are good peeps so it's it's been a wonderful thing and then I turned the page here so this is March 28th and uh, this was a really great day. I don't know what, I don't remember what was going on here, but um, you know, I tackled some fears that's going on and you know, fear of death is like oh, huge because I have, I was telling my therapist the other day that I've known 18 people personally who's passed away since March, 2020. And um, just that fear of death thing has been encroaching and has impacted my anxiety because you know, with. So many people I know who died of COVID and cancer and accidents on the highway and other things. It's just really impacted the anxiety level. So I'm working through that as well. And not to mention having family members close to me who've passed away. Um, but also having a self-care checklist. So things I need to make sure that I'm doing for my own health and self-care and um, some dreams and goals and plans that I have for myself here. So I listed that there. The next day, again, you know, today was a good day. Next day was a meh day. I think, um, you know, sometimes this is how it is, but um, you pull through and on this day in particular, um, I was just feeling meh, M-E-H, meh. And that's actually a quote from Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons, one of my favorites. I'm a since, used to be a, a diehard Simpsons fan. Love that show. My brother and I used to watch it all the time when we were younger. And um, yeah, then I just, you know, little kindness thoughts, little, um, you know, fill your cup with positivity. What can you do to be a positive encouragement to others? Just so many great things here that you can reflect on and work on. If you hear any noises in the background, it's really windy where I am in Atlanta, Canada. <laughs> it's like crazy windy today. And, uh, but this is the only time I can film because it's a busy weekend. So I have to <laughs> use what I can. So, um, but yeah, on uh, March 20 or March 30th, rather, it was a better day. I felt strong. I felt good. Um, it was, yeah, it was a great day. And then the 31st, um, again, chronicling, you know, a good day. Um, you know, I was a little bit meh in terms of my mood because I was really sore from the gym <laughs> and, um, just reminding myself that, you know, when I'm reflecting on what's happening with my body and my mind and everything health as well. And so I'm a little sore today, but I know that if I invest in my health, it's good things will happen. And so, uh, note to myself, just, you know, that strong theme there going on. So I'm stronger than I think. And uh, I'm grateful for my cozy home. I've done a lot to make our home cozy and relaxing and calm with my decor and decorations. And I'm pretty proud of uh, our home and how it looks and how it's decorated. And so since I spent so much time here too, I definitely want to make sure that it's the place to feel comfortable. So yeah, there's that. And um, then the last page of this week, April 1st, I just, you know, same things apply actually in fact here I actually don't like rainbow so i didn't even color it in i just find you know the color of the rainbow just really jarring and make my head hurt comment down below if you know what i'm saying <laughs> if you know what i mean by that because i i don't know if i'm the only one who hates rainbows i know they're like a thing now but i can't stand them i don't know why <laughs> i like seeing them in the sky because it's muted and stuff but just seeing them like in stickers and all that ugh, i just not a fan <laughs> um at this page here 
this is just like a an extra page that kind of divides the weeks and on this page i just did some i am statements that my therapist wanted me to write down and so i have some adjectives and other words that describes who i am as a person and uh, just reminds me of you know what i'm about and to stay true to who i am and it's just been wonderful it's been wonderful so um i've shared a lot in this video so <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking now but i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed uh journaling is one of the best things you can do when you have anxiety but i understand that it's time consuming and it can take a lot of time especially if you're a busy student parent um, person in general and it people may kind of fall off journaling because they just don't have the time to devote to it but this planning system and just the way it's designed it just makes it so much easier just to you know jot this write that without you know having a notebook writing 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 because that can take some time too and sometimes you're just not in the mood yo <laughs> you're just not in the mood to to do all that writing so this is a great alternative uh, to tackle your journaling needs and I hope you enjoyed. So thank you so, so much for watching, dear friends. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more planning and journaling and all types of things planners related and organization to come. I love this community. You guys are fantastic. I recently celebrated 10,000 views on this channel and that's all because of you folks. So thank you for watching and until next video, take care, be well and be blessed and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye friends.